Hello, one and all, it's Sean and the Dead here, bringing you a review of Sony's PlayStation Vita. Now, just before we get started, I want to mention that the screen is a little bit reflective, so you may see myself or the camera during the video. With no further ado, let's get into the PlayStation Vita's features. Right off the bat, you can see the obvious. You've got your two analog sticks right here, directional buttons, your classic X, square, triangle and circle buttons. You have your start and select, a PlayStation button, you have two speakers at the sides of the device here. It has a front-facing camera and, of course, to top it off, a touch screen on the front as well. There's more features at the top of the device, including volume control, on and off switch, your L1 and R1 buttons, as there's a port for your PlayStation Vita cartridges and another port for 3G SIM cards for those that want to game on the go online. Okay, at the rear of the device, you've got another touch screen and a 5 megapixel camera. And finally, at the bottom, of course, you've got your charging port, your headphone jack, and an SD card slot for your PlayStation Vita memory cards. Here's one. Look at that. It's tiny. Yes, I wouldn't advise keeping these in your pockets because they can be easily lost and they're not cheap to replace. This 16 gig one cost me £24. So they're pretty expensive. You can get an 8 gig one as well and 32 gig. You can also get various game packages with these. Um, for example, Tesco do one at £20. It's the Indie Game Pack. It includes a bunch of indie games and an 8 gig card, which isn't bad for those that want an instant game collection. So yeah, they're pretty good. It's worth knowing though that these are the only type of card compatible with a PlayStation Vita. You can't use anything else as a memory card. These are the only ones that will work, which is quite frustrating. But nevertheless, yes, it's worth looking after. I have a case like this. I keep them in here and they're nice and safe. So that way I won't lose them because I mean, it's tiny. I feel like I could break it. Anyway. Okay, so let's get the Vita switched on. The first thing you're going to notice is the beautiful OLED display. Yes, it looks stunning. In fact, the camera doesn't do it justice. It's worth noting that the new PlayStation Vita Slim only has an LCD display and doesn't look as good. However, the battery life is supposed to be a bit longer. Also, the games. Yes, the games. The Vita is all about them. There are so many games to download on Vita. Many people say there's not enough. Um, which I completely disagree with. I've got two 16 gig cards completely filled up and there's so many great things on offer and the amount of sales they have, including the PlayStation Plus games, there's just plenty to keep you coming back. So we're going to jump into some games now. Let's have a look at Luftrausers. Okay, so this is Luftrausers. It's a simple little game. Um, recently just come out on the Vita and it's good fun. It's pretty old school. It, it is perfect for this device actually um it's also on playstation 3 but i really do think it's right at home on the vita uh the controls are very simple uh the sound quality is also pretty good i'm just going to turn up the volume here to give you an idea i'm also not very good at this game <laughs> So there's plenty of little games like this, um, there's a lot of games I'd recommend, Hotline Miami is definitely one of the best Vita games available, it's currently free on PlayStation Plus actually. Okay, we're just going to jump out of this as I've died. Um, it's pretty easy to navigate on a PlayStation Vita, you just simply uh, swipe this, the, the touch screen is extremely sensitive, it really does register everything you do. I actually have a Samsung tablet and I feel that this Vita screen is much more responsive. Um, it's fantastic. Okay, one of the games I'm going to show you is Tearaway. This is one of the games that makes full use of the Vita's uh, features. It's got some fantastic stuff in there. So let's jump into that one. Okay, this is Tearaway. As you can see, um, it, it's also got the uh, motion control there that's available to use. As you can look around like that. It's a really cool feature. I think that's something I forgot to mention earlier. Uh, there's that many features with this device. It, it's, it's easy to forget them all. <laughs> So we're just loading into the game now. Now this is by Media Molecule and they are a very renowned developer for creativity. And this game is full of creativity. It's a really nice game. It's great for all ages as well. And it's certainly one of the best games to pick up straight away for Vita. I highly recommend this. I also did a full review of this game for Central Gamer. I'll post a link in the description if you want to have a check, check that out. I'm just going to throw this here. And then, oh, I've got a little trophy. 
And then we go to open that, and you can tell the game looks amazing. I mean, the camera doesn't really do it enough justice. The OLED display looks brilliant. Here's some of the cool features of this game it, using the rear touchpad. I can actually bring my finger into the game. As you can see, I'm just punch, hitting the touchpad. And there we go, my finger's in the game. Uh, which is a really cool feature. There's, it also puts you in the game. The idea is your this little character here is on a mission to deliver a message to the gamer. It's a, it's good fun. Uh, like I said, it's it's got a lot of interesting control schemes. Uh, it uses the camera, voice, and one of the one of the key features in this game was where you had to design design a snowflake. And once you had done that, it actually started snowing your design, uh, which I thought was very very cool. So that's Tearaway. Um, but it's it's a good game. It also ca this actually came with the PlayStation VR. I got the Tearaway package. And it was this little big planet and a 16 gig card for 150 pounds, which is absolutely incredible. You you can't get much better value than that. Okay, now I'm just going to give you a quick tour of the PlayStation Store and tell you more about some of the amazing deals that PlayStation offers with PlayStation Plus and the cross buy feature as well, and of course the games on offer. Because apparently a lot of people say the PlayStation Vita has no games. Well, they'd be wrong. Let me just uh, show you a couple of games on offer at the moment. Of course, games are coming out nearly every week for this device. We've got Dynasty Warriors 8, uh, MXGP, Deception, Fez, MLB The Show, uh, Steam Will Dig, Luftrousers, Hatsune Miku. If you've actually seen the Hatsune, uh, just YouTube that, Hatsune Miku. It's very strange. <laughs> and there's many, many others. There's games coming out every week for this. There might not be always AAA. There's a lot of indie games to the PS Vita, but I'm not complaining because a lot of these indie games are absolutely fantastic. Uh, also, uh, what would be awesome, if you was actually to buy a Vita today uh, with PlayStation Plus, you would get free games straight off the bat. Now, let me just let me just explain this to you. If you was to buy a membership, let's say it's £40. I know it's, I think it's cheaper than that, but just say a year's membership is £40. Now, you may or may not own a PS4 or a PS3, so you might know about this, or you may not. But if you used to get that membership, you would get these games for free. Now, just look at the prices they are reduced from. MotoGP was £30, now it's free. Uh, Sly Cooper, £20 and it's free. That's £50 worth of games right now. You've just made your money back on your membership. And then you also got Hotline Miami, Uncharted, and Gravity Rush on top of that. The ter In terms of value, it's fantastic. That's just PlayStation Vita. On PS3 or PS4, you get free games every month as well. It is possibly one of the best things since sliced bread. Another amazing uh, feature is cross-buy, which you might have not heard of as well. This means if you used to, say, buy a certain game in particular, say if you had a PS3 and you had bought some of the PS1 classics, for example, Resident Evil, you would actually be able to download Resident Evil on the Vita free of charge because it's under cross-buy. So this works with certain games, uh, including certain games that have just come out on the PS4, such as Steam Will Dig. If you bought that on the PS4, that would also be playable on PlayStation Vita. Same with Fez. If you've got it on the PS4, playable on the Vita. And I think it's also out on PS3. So you only have to buy it once, and it's instantly playable for all three devices. The PlayStation Vita really does have a lot of content. If you were to pick one of these up today, you would spend ages buying and downloading games until you realise, oh my gosh, I've just spent a little bit too much money, especially with sales like these. Uh, PlayStation always putting something out on sale. So that's the PlayStation Store, home of many, many games from PSP, PlayStation 1, indie games, AAA titles, you name it, they probably have it. Okay, now it's time to show you possibly the best thing about the PlayStation Vita, especially if you're a PlayStation 4 owner. Yes, it's called Remote Play. You might have heard of it. It's absolutely fantastic, and this more or less makes the Vita a must-have gadget for the PS4, especially if you say, oh, you're a bit bored at work, you've got a Wi-Fi connection, you left your PlayStation at home on standby, so what do you do? You just uh, connect to your PS4 wirelessly and play a bit of Resogun. Yep, you can do that. It's it's absolutely brilliant. And look at how quick it's it's simply fast and fluent. Uh, so I'm just going to show you some uh, infamous Second Son. Let's check it out right now. So here I am with infamous Second Son, uh, looking absolutely amazing. To be honest, the camera doesn't really do it justice. Uh, I'm looking at directly at the screen, and it just looks phenomenal. It's just flawlessly uh, streamed straight from the PlayStation 4. It's almost like magic. So I'm going to try and see how oh, we've got some neon powers. Let's just 
let's just glide off somewhere look at that it's it's so amazing this game i i love this i love it so much it's certainly one of the best games i've played in a while the graphics on it are absolutely phenomenal the powers are really cool to use you can really cause some chaos and being able to run like the flash is pretty sweet as well you also have the different powers as well we got i think we got some smoke here let's see if we can take some of that fantastic boom love it <laughs> i love this game i get quite giddy the visuals are just incredible and it still and it holds up so well on the vita as well you know it doesn't lose that graphical fidelity it just looks amazing let's see it's going to annoy some people shoot shoot that guy's car up where's he gone have some of that yeah you don't deserve to have nice things <laughs> so yeah this is the, this is just as good as it gets and it's really quite simple to play uh, you also got uh, on the back of the controller that works as your R2 and L2 buttons as well. Uh, so if I see if I can try and get it up to come up on the screen, they, they, it's, I think it's a little bit clunky sometimes trying to use those uh, to really do anything. The R2 and L2 sometimes they don't work or they can be unresponsive. But to set this up with a PS4, it's very simple. Uh, you don't have to really do much about that. The graphics look amazing. I'm going to actually show you a couple more games uh, on the PS4 as well. So that's, so that's uh, of course, that's Infamous Second Son. Let's have a jump back here. So you just simply jump back to the PS4 live screen. That simple. I and mean, you can jump back on Infamous if you like. So you have a uh, full reign of what you want to play. Uh, get certain games like Call of Duty Ghosts are a little bit hard to play. Uh, we got the new Mercenary Kings. Let's just jump onto that. So here we are, Mercenary Kings. Again, it's not doing it justice. The screen, it just looks great. The colours really pop with this game. I've got to say, it's really cool. Also, if you want to see... Oh, I've just got shot there. Show him what for. Uh, just if you want to see, there's no latency whatsoever. The buttons work perfectly. As you can see when you're reloading. Spot on. And so that, that's one of the cool things about it. I don't even know how it actually works. It's phenomenal. The fact that you can actually just connect to a wireless connection and then be able to stream the PS4 to your PlayStation Vita. And it has quite a radius on it. You can probably go to work and do it from work if you wanted to, as long as you've got a wireless connection. It's really, really awesome. <laughs> I can't really put it much sooner than that. This is actually what sold the PlayStation Vita to me. The fact that you can simply do this um, anywhere, whether it's in your house, around a friend's house, even if you've got a pub with a local wireless and you want to show your mates, it is a really good feature. And especially even if you actually have the 3G network SIM card, you can do it as well and just connect on the go. However, I can imagine it being quite expensive. I'm not too sure the cost on that. So yeah, this is Mercenary Kings. This is the PlayStation Vita. Uh, I've showed you some of the key features. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm now going to have some fun <laughs> playing more games. Uh, yeah, I'm Sean Dead. Hope you've enjoyed this. As always, thanks for watching. And I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.